I feel like being a sex worker makes me a better mommy because she's going to be a lot more secure in her understanding of the world around her. My name is Ellen Stanger and I am 31 years old. I'm really organized, empathetic, sensitive. I cry a lot, I'll probably cry during this interview. Coffee run. Hi. Hi. You look familiar. I'm... Stripper writer. Yeah. Stripper writer, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Seriously, this is like the highlight of my day. I currently work at the Lucky Devil Lounge in Portland, Oregon. I'll stick a cocktail straw through my nose or light my pubes on fire. This is glitter that I put on my butthole because I think it's funny and I work in a fully nude club so when people see um, a glittering anus that they didn't expect to see, it usually makes them laugh or react in some way. I take my bottoms off first. Uh, most of the clubs do topless first and I have pubic hair that I'm pretty proud of. Everybody has a shtick, right? The nature of my work is varied. I work in a strip club as a stripper three nights a week. I've done webcam on and off. I've done a little bit of escorting, full service sex work, but it's illegal and that makes it more dangerous. I really hardly ever dabble in that. I write erotica, I do sex toy reviews. Um, I sell my own porn, me and my partner. Uh, we just made our own. That was fun, that was a nice learning process. That was always on my to-dos. My favorite qualities about Elle would be like her open-mindedness, like never a dull moment. So, my daughter's five. Can I have a huggy? I don't think I've had a huggy since we got home. What does your daddy do for work? He just um works on his computer. Mm -hmm. What does mommy do? <laughs> mommy stuff. Mommy stuff? I do mommy stuff. I've been telling her since she was three that mommy dances and talks to people and tells jokes for money. What else? Dance on a pole? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ella's a good mom because the well-being of her daughter is 100% her first priority. I think people don't trust that I could raise a child in a nurturing, safe, structured environment because they're projecting their own fears onto me. I'm not working in full view of her because I'm an adult. I don't even want to see my parents doing that either. You know, when I'm a mom, I'm mom. When I'm in my adult world working, I'm doing my adult work and those things do not overlap. A lot of culture you see, strip clubs, you see people taking pictures. Some places it's allowed, but not in this city for the most part. Playing with the light board. White is not good because it will show all of your stretch marks and razor burn and ingrown hairs. I used to want to work in street level law enforcement. I used to want to be a cop. I received my BA in criminology from Portland State University, but I became a sex worker for economic reasons. But I realized about six months into stripping that I was learning more about human beings than I'd ever learned in anything, any psychology class. And I was like, wow, there's really a whole lot here. This, this feels like healing, this feels like helping, this feels like giving therapy. So I know that my work is healing to people because they tell me and I see it. A lot of the reason that people go into adult establishments is not just because they want some kind of arousal, which is great. A lot of people don't have it in them to seek out therapy because they've been ashamed to. I think it's a lot easier for the blue collar guy to talk to the pretty girl in her underwear for 20 bucks a song. This is how I find out what I made the night before. There's not a lot of big bills in here last night, though. It looks like more than it is when it's one, so. Where's your bone? 
I had a woman a couple years ago who asked me if I could just sit with her and just play with her hair and just hug her because her wedding was the next day and she was nervous. And so she just wanted to de-stress. I thought that was really cool. I think she does a lot of good in this world. I think she does a lot of healing. I know I felt a lot better when I used to see her at work before we started dating. Um, so we've been together for almost 14 months. I was flirting with Brian when he would come into my place of work, which I don't usually do. Um, but I really liked him and I kept asking him out. And he finally said yes. <laughs> I don't get jealous with her activities or what she does for work. I'm able to separate the two. My website is just kind of a hub for um, where you can find me naked on the internet, where you can find me naked in person, where you can read my writing. So there's the book that I publish. I make coffee mugs. Um, I make a shirt that says I only feminist because that's the case. Um, that's probably one of our top sellers. I'm really comfortable with calling myself a feminist because I appreciate and I respect everybody's own sexuality. We lead a yearly march. Slut Walk Portland has three organizers. I'm one of three. We are all sex workers. The idea behind Slut Walk is that nobody deserves sexual assault. And it's just really interesting how many people don't know how to react. Because they've gone their whole lives hearing about whores and sluts and hookers and shooting them on Grand Theft Auto and watching them be dead on Family Guy. These are some of the ones that our volunteers made. Sex isn't bad, slut shaming is, support our sluts, rape is never the victim's fault, walk of no shame. But something's missing. Hey, after this, we're gonna FaceTime grandma, okay? I feel like being a sex worker makes me a better mommy because I've developed a greater sense of empathy. It means that I am responsible to make a human being that is better for the world. Hey, you've seen me before. Hey. I'm trying to see. Here, come sit. I think it's just my job to kind of raise a little human that's gonna make the world a better place. Okay, bye. I'll be right back. People ask me, what are you going to do after? I said, I'm going to do this until my knees explode from crawling on a metal stage. My boobs are going to be fine because they're, they're, uh, they're surgically enhanced. They're not going anywhere. So as long as I can keep, keep the money makers intact, I think I'll be fine.